What's up guys, my name is Doug and this is Leaving the Dream. As of the date of this video, seven people have agreed to cooperate and testify against Mike Miskey and his enterprises. This is video number four, I believe, in a series of videos that I'll be doing that outline and discuss the facts as laid out by the seven people who turned government witness against Mike Miskey and his crew. I'm gonna do these videos in the order in which they made the plea agreements just to make it easier to catalog. This video in particular is about one Wayne Miller. We've talked about him before. He's the fifth person to agree to testify against Mike Miskey and the others. If you missed the first video that I did on Joan Ortiz, you can just click right here. I also want to say mahalo to Ian Lind for his article, which I used as the primary source of information for this video. And the link to that article can be found in the description below so that you can read it for yourself. Let's get into it. Miller. He is charged with racketeering conspiracy for his involvement in the Mike Miskey Enterprises. Starting in 2014, Wayne Miller was employed by Mike Miskey and his companies. Miller admitted that he agreed to help Miskey kidnap and murder Jonathan Frazier. Miller said that he hoped that Miskey would change his mind about the murder, but he agreed to help him anyways. And he knew that Mike Miskey was really serious about carrying out this plan. Miller admitted to helping plan the murder and even purchased items that Miskey intended to use to kidnap and then subsequently murder Frazier. Authorities believe that Frazier was indeed murdered on July 30th, 2016. Two years later, in the fall of 2018, Miller gave what are called proffer protected statements, admitting that he played a role in the Frazier kidnapping and murder. At the time, the government didn't have enough evidence to charge him for anything. Now, proffer protected statements are basically statements that you make detailing your involvement in a particular crime, but without those statements being used against you in court. I'll leave a link in the description below explaining proffer protected statements and what they mean in court. Miller also said that he was instructed to arrange for at least five other individuals to be assaulted or murdered in addition to Frazier. Miller claims that ultimately none of those other five were killed, only Frazier was. As a part of his plea deal, Miller agreed to confess to these crimes in open court outside of those proffer protections. And then in October 2017, Miller agreed to kidnap an accountant from Mike Miskey. Miller said that he and Jonah Ortiz, who we talked about earlier, kidnapped the accountant but ultimately released him. I covered this incident in a video right up here. In 2014, Miller and Ortiz arranged a $400,000 cocaine shipment from Mike Miskey, but they were arrested in California before they could get the coke shipped to Hawaii. And then in 2016, Mike Miskey had one of his employees create fraudulent pay stubs for Miller so he could turn into his probation officer to make it look like Miller actually worked for the company. Miller did submit those pay stubs to his probation officer. Miller had been previously convicted of auto theft, leaving the scene of an accident, and even weapons offenses. If you remember, Miller was also convicted in the 2001 bank robbery of the Winwood Community Federal Credit Union. While he was waiting sentencing for that violent robbery, he had three people write character letters on his behalf, and amongst them was Mike Miskey. Another man was Ed Freitas. And when the letter was written, Ed Freitas had been an employee of Kama Aina Plumbing for like 10 years at the time. Freitas eventually left the company, but his son, Kalana Freitas, is a co-defendant in the racketeering conspiracy with Miskey. He allegedly committed that first chemical attack on the nightclub called Ginza. Wayne Miller was charged with racketeering on December 4, 2020. Prosecutors agreed to drop three charges involving weapons and robbery in exchange for Miller's plea. Wayne Miller is currently at FDC and is facing life in prison for his crimes. In my next video, I'll be discussing Ashlyn Akau, who is the sixth person to turn government witness against Mike Miskey and his enterprises. For that video, you can just click right here. And of course, if you haven't watched my original video on the Mike Miskey situation and his enterprise, you can just click on this video right here. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I appreciate the support. And until the next time, aloha.